Sit down, please. Last time, we studied to find the duplexes of a given number. Same duplexes are helpful and useful in finding square roots of a given number. It may be a perfect square number, it may be a non-perfect square number, method remains the same. But as a first case, in this period, we will study to find duplexes of first perfect square number and then how to use those duplexes to find square root of the perfect square number. There is a table of operations which is to be followed. We go by example. Example number one, to find square root of 1369, 1369. We write the given number 1369. Then, the first step, we group the digits from right to left in pairs. So, first group will be 69, this vertical line, and second group 1, 3. The leftmost group may contain one digit sometime. If the given number has five digits, then the leftmost group may contain one digit. But here, the leftmost group has two digits, and that is starting point of our problem. Leftmost group has two digits, number 13. Now we select a number whose square is nearest to 13. I repeat, we select a number whose square is nearest to 13. That number is naturally 3, whose square 9 is nearest to 13. That 3 we write as a first digit of the answer line. Then a selection of a divisor. 2 multiplied by this 3 every time, 2 multiplied by this 3 that is 6 will work as our divisor. Number 3, 13 minus 9 which we have selected equal to 4 is the first digit of the remainder. So we selected 3 because 3 square equal to 9 is nearest to 13. 3 is the first digit of the answer. 3 into 2, 6 is the divisor. And 13 minus 9 equal to 4 will be the first digit of the remainder. Once this is done, now it remains a simple division to find the remaining digits of the answer. We start now dividing by 6. So, next dividend will be 46, remainder 4 and the next digit of the given number. 46 divided by 6, quotient 7 that we will write in the answer line and remainder 4 again will be written in the remainder line. Okay. 46 is the digit. We divide 46 by 6, quotient 7, remainder 4. Then next dividend is 49. Here is the important step. That is why this vertical line is written. Before dividing 49 by 6 directly, we subtract from 49 duplex of 7. So, next step is 49 minus d of 7, 49 minus d of 7, that is 49 minus 49 equal to 0. Now, that 0 will be divided by 6, 0 divided by, divided by 6 means quotient 0, remainder 0. Okay? Now, we discontinue the procedure because all the digits of the given number are exhausted. Now, coming to the answer. There are three digits, 3, 7, 0 in the answer line. We put a decimal point after two places. How that 2 is coming? There are two groups in the given number. So, that number 2 is to be selected to 
put a decimal point in the answer line. So, though answer line has 3 digits 3, 7 and 0, decimal in the answer is to be substituted after 2 digits counted from left, not from right. Naturally, because the first digit of our answer is 3, second digit of answer is 7. So, after 2 digits, we put the decimal point and hence finally, we get square root of 1369 is equal to 37. We come to the next example. Okay. Yes. Yes, I will repeat that. There are three digits in the answer line 370, two groups in a given number, two groups. So, that two number is to be selected for substituting a decimal point in the answer line. If there are three groups, we will put a decimal point after three digits as counted from the left. Okay. Anything? Yes. Sir, when, uh, when we were choosing the divisor, yes. we always multiply the answer with 2. Not the answer, first digit the, of the, the answer. The first digit yes, of the answer, always. always with 2. Always by 2. We will double that, always okay. by 2. Sir, so ah, we are pressing a digit ah. in a group. Yes. Then, Here. it is also considered as a group. Yes, it, it will be considered as a group. As I said, if there are odd number of the digits in the given number, then naturally the leftmost group will contain one digit. Okay. So, we will select that one digit as a group. That is to be treated as a group. Anything? Sir, uh, how we got 0 in the remainder? Here, this is 0. 0 in the remainder. Yes. Actually, 49 minus D7 we have done. 49 minus D7 is 49 minus 49 equal to 0. Now, that new dividend 0, not 49, forget 49. New dividend 0 is to be divided by 6. 0 divided by 6 means how much? Quotient 0, remainder 0. Anything? Is huh? it a property that whenever we are subtracting uh, the D of the last number, the huh? surplus of the last huh? number from huh? the last digit that is formed, yes. it is always 0? No, not necessary. Not necessary. Because it is a perfect square, that will happen. Not otherwise. Okay, anything? So, can we take a 16 as a, so 4 as a first to, Four, 4 as a first digit, no. Yes, I said that nearest lower, nearest lower, not the nearest upper. Anything? Okay. Coming to next. Find square root of 5184. We start the table of operations. Write the given number 5184. Group it from right to left. There are again 4 digits, so 2 group. First 8, 4, second 5, 1. Now, nearest lower number whose square is nearer to 51, 7 naturally. So, our first digit of the answer is 7. Why 7? 7 square 49 is nearest to 51, that is leftmost group. 7 into 2, 14, that is divisor. And 51 minus 49, that is equal to 2 will be the first digit of the remainder. Now, our dividend is 28. Now, what you will do uh, to 28? 28 divided by 14. That is 2 in the answer line, 0 in the remainder. Then, 0, 4 is our new dividend minus d of 2. Always take the duplexes by Deleting the first digit, not with the first digit, d of 4. So, 4 minus 4, 0. 0 divided by 14, quotient 0, remainder 0. We discontinue because there is no digit available in the given number. The process is to be continued till all the digits are exhausted or if it is said find the square root up to 4 decimal places, then we will discontinue after 4 decimal places. Okay? Now, 7, 2, 0, 3 digits in the answer line. There are 2 groups. We will put our decimal point after 2 as counted from the left. So, 72. So, final answer for square root of 5184 is 72. Any doubt? Any question? Sir, about the 0, 4 division by 14. 
हाँ जीरो डिवाइडेड बाय फोर्टीन हाउ मच यू विल गेट क्वेश्चन जीरो रिमाइंडर नो जीरो सो वे राइट जीरो एंड जीरो ओके नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट नाउ यू ट्राई फॉर दिस फाइंड स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर सिक्स टू टू फाइव नाउ आई विल आस द स्टेप्स वन बाय वन प्लीज ग्रुप द डिजिट्स यस सर फर्स्ट ऑफ़ वी ग्रुप द डिजिट्स फ्रॉम द राइट राइट चुले था सो वी गट फर्स्ट ग्रुप इन ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकंड ग्रुप सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी टू लेफ्ट मोस्ट लेफ्ट मोस्ट फोर ओके सो नाउ वी चूज द नियरेस्ट लोअर स्क्वायर यस ऑफ़ द लेफ्ट मोस्ट ग्रुप लेफ्ट मोस्ट ग्रुप दैट नंबर हुज स्क्वायर इज नियरेस्ट लोअर टू लेफ्ट मोस्ट दैट इज फोर दैट नंबर इज टू टू नेचुरली सो वी राइट टू इन द आंसर आंसर लाइन फर्स्ट डिजिट ऑफ द आंसर लाइन व्हाट अबाउट डिवाइजर सो देन वी मल्टीप्लाई द लेफ्ट मोस्ट डिजिट ऑफ द आंसर टू टू दैट विल बी फैक्टराइज द डिवाइजर यस दैट इज 4 4 एज अ डिवाइजर देन व्हिच इज द फर्स्ट डिविडेंड 22 minus d of d of 1 that is 21 21 divided by 4 quotient 5 remainder 1 getting yes then 12 12 minus d of 1 5 that is a new thing which is it was not there earlier now 12 minus d of One five, how much? Ten. So that is two. Two is our new dividend. Now two divided by four gives zero. Remainder two. Now twenty five is the next gross dividend you can say. Then twenty five minus d of one five zero. One five zero is naturally twenty five minus twenty five. That is zero. So we zero divided by four. Don't forget that step. Zero divided by four. Quotient zero. Remainder zero, which not necessarily written. Okay. So we got the five digits actually in the answer line. Two one five zero zero. We will select only three digits because three groups. There are three groups. So we will put our decimal point after five as counted from. left so answer of square root of 46225 is 215 any question any difficulty should we move to next okay find the square root of 552049 first group it First group it. That huh? is three groups. 25, yes. 20, and 49. Yes, but group should be selected from right to left. Right. So leftmost group may contain one digit, not from left to right as we are done. Okay. Then. Then uh, uh, we choose the number. Number. Which has a square nearby 55. Near to 55. Yes. That, that, that number is seven. And uh, that number is written in the answer line. Okay. okay. And then uh, seven square 49. 55 minus 49. Yes, um, is six. 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 six is the first digit in the remainder. Yes. Uh, what about the divisor? What about the divisor? Uh, Please, sir. Fourteen. Seven multiplied by two. Fourteen. Now we start division. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, sixty-two divided by fourteen. Fourteen. Four. Fifty-six. Remainder six. Then next sixty. Minus D four. Ah, perform that sixty minus sixteen. Forty six. Forty six divided by fourteen. Three quotient. Three quotient. Two remainder. Getting? Yes. Twenty four. Twenty four minus D four three. That is for twenty four. That is twenty four minus twenty four. We get zero. Zero divided by fourteen. Okay. 
now 0 9 is the next dividend 9 minus nine d nine of zero. 4 3 four, zero. 0 that is 9 that is 9 minus 9 that is 0 0 divided by 14 gives quotient 0 remainder 0 we discontinue the procedure because all the digits of the given number are exhausted we should not discontinue as soon as we get quotient 0 no we should discontinue only after all the digits are taken into consideration. So, finally, we put a decimal point after 3 digits as counted from the left. The reason is? What so, is the because reason? the number of the groups in the, uh, uh, the given, number given number is R3. Three. So, we keep, we put the decimal point after, after three, digits. 3 as so counted from left. left. Side. So, answer is square root of 552049 is equal to 743. Coming to the Next example, it is slightly difficult one, 20439441, find the square root of that, write the number first, 20439441. Now tell me the groups, yes? Sir, rightmost 41, 41, then 94, 94 43, 43, and 20. 20, yes. Now what will be the next step? So, next we will uh, select a number, number that has a square that is lower and nearest to the uh, 20. 20. Yes, that and number that is 4. 4. So, we write the 4 in the first, first digit of the answer. 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 What will be the next step? Divisor. Divisor will be 4 into, four into eight. 2. 8. eight. Then, then uh, subtract 20 eight. minus Six, 20 60. minus 60 Six. is equal to 4, 4 is the first digit in the remainder line. This step is extremely important. You must select lower digit nearer to the leftmost group, then we must select correctly the divisor and the first digit of the remainder. Once that is done very carefully, rest is nothing but the division. 44 divided by 8, we get four. quotient 5, four. remainder 4. four. Then 43 four. minus, minus D5. D5. Yes. 43 minus 25. D5. 43 minus 25. 18 divided by 8, that is 2 quotient, 2 remainder. 29, 29 minus D5, D5, 2. D5, 2, 10. 10, and 10 into 2, 20. So, 29 minus 20, 9. 9 divided by 8, that gives 1 quotient, 1 remainder. Now, we get 14. 14 minus D5 of 5 to 1. 14 minus 14. 14 minus 14. 0. 0. 0 divided by 8. 0. We get remainder 0. Then 0, 4. Do not discontinue. Yes, there are sir. two digits left. Yes, sir. Ah, 0, 4. And 0, 4 D5 minus D of 5 to 1, 5 to 1, 1 0. 0. Is 0. That is, that is that again is 4 zero. minus 4. four. That is 0. 0 divided by 8? 0. 0 in the quotient. 0 in the remainder. remainder. 0, 1. That is 1 minus D of 5, 2, 1, 0, 0. That is 1. That is 1 minus 1. That is 0. 1 minus 1. That is 0. 0 divided by 8? Again 0. Again 0 in the quotient line. 0 in the remainder line. Now we discontinue because the no digit is left. So, now we put a decimal point as usual after how many digits? Four digits. Four digits because four groups, four groups are, there are there counting from the left to right. So, 4, 5, 2, 1 that is the decimal point coming and then answer is square root of 20439441 is equal to 4, 5, 2, 1. Yes. Sir, yes, please. Sir, why do we care separate the first digit of the answer? Sir, why are you taking the duplex of the rest of the digits? Sir, we subtract the duplex of the rest of the digits. Yes, yes, I will explain that. See, if we start taking duplexes of 4, 5, yes, sir. okay, that is, that is what you want to do. Yes. This 4 has a special significance. Why? Because 20 is appearing as a leftmost part square root of 20 nearest integer is 4. That is why we kept that 4 out of the duplexes of this sign. There is a reason and theory, theoretical part. 
which we will explain little later on. Okay, coming to this, find square root of one eight zero seven one zero zero one. Write the number. Group them. Yes. What is the first group? Come on. Uh, that is we start from the uh, right side. Right side. Huh? The zero one. Zero one. Then ten. One zero. Um, then zero seven. Zero seven. Then one eight. One eight. Yes. Uh, then we take the number nearest. Uh, this is root square nearest to eighteen. Eighteen. That is four. 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 We write the four in the answer line. Yes, Divisor will be four into two eight. Eight. Yes. And then uh, square of four that is sixteen. Ah. Eighteen minus sixteen. Eighteen minus sixteen is two. So the first part is eighteen leftmost group. Four nearest number. Whose square is nearest to eighteen? Answer. Divisor eight four into two. Remainder eighteen minus sixteen two. Again, I repeat. That is the most important thing. If you miss anything here, then the answer will be wrong. So be very careful while calculating the first digit of the answer line, divisor, and first digit of the remainder. Now start dividing. Twenty divided by eight. Come on, tell me what is what will be your answer? Huh. Come on, tell me. Sir, uh, quotient will be two, two yes. and remainder will be four. Four, yes. Then forty-seven. Forty-seven. Huh. So then minus seven, then we subtract uh, d of two. Two, yes. Forty-seven minus d of two. That, that is, is four. Four. That is forty-three. Then four. we divide forty-three by eight. Yes. And that will be quotient five, five and remainder, remainder three. three. Next, thirty-one. Thirty-one huh. subtracted by uh, d of two five. Two five. That is twenty. Twenty. Thirty-one minus twenty is eleven. Eleven. Yes. Very correct. Eight. Eight. Equal to quotient is one. One. Remainder. Remainder. Very fine. Come on. Next. And, uh, then we have thirty. Thirty. Yes. Then divided uh, my subtraction of two five one. Uh, D of two five one. Thirty minus D of two five one. Uh, what will be that value? Four plus twenty five. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Huh. One, uh, one divided by eight. Eight. Quotient yes. zero. Remainder one. Then we get ten. Come on, follow ten. 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 Then will uh, minus d of two five, five one, one zero. One zero. zero. Uh, that will be ten. Ten, ten minus ten zero. Zero, zero divided by eight. Quotient zero. Quotient zero. Remainder zero. zero. So we get next division one. one. Zero one. Zero one minus. Uh, d of two five one zero zero five one zero zero. That is again one. That is again one. So, one so we get zero. one minus one zero. zero. Zero divided by eight. Zero. Quotient zero. Remainder zero. Remainder zero. We discontinue the procedure because the digits are over. So there are four two five one zero zero. After four places. After four places, we will give our decimal point. Because there are four, four groups, groups in the number. given number, so answer of that one eight zero seven one zero zero one square root of that number is equal to four, four two four five, five one. Now please calculate square root of one eight four nine. That is the easy example then compared to earlier two. Write the number one eight four nine. Group them. Forty-nine in the first group. Eighteen in the next. Leftmost group. Two digits. One eight. Select the first digit in the answer line. Four. Four. Why? Four square equal to sixteen is nearest to eighteen. Okay. So four is divisor. Sir, eight. Four into two. Four into two. Eight. First digit of the remainder two. Two. Eighteen minus sixteen is two. Two. Okay. Very fine. Then twenty-four divided by eight. Divided by eight. Divided by eight. We get three. 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 Zero divided by eight. Zero. 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 Quotient zero. Remainder zero. zero. We discontinue there. No digit is there. Now four three zero. Three digits. We yes, will keep decimal point after two digits. Two digits. Two digits. So square root of one eight four nine is forty. 
43. Of course, in all the examples, we can always write square root of a given number equal to plus or minus, because we know that the square root has two values always. If it is a positive number, then it is plus minus. Today, we studied how to find square root of a perfect square number. Next time, we will study how to find square root of a non-perfect square number. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you.